It's the Dragon Sail Puppets Variety Show. Starring Sorinda, Bruce, Catatonia, and Henri. Featuring the Dragon Sail Puppets Band. Anchors away. Can you hear me out back? Can you hear me in the front? Can you hear me in the middle? Well, I'm about to fall out the fridge. One, two, Raymond drool and make me cringe. You're scary, but I can't lose you. So I might as well learn to use your law. What's a child of the light to do? With somebody like you, somebody like you. voices yapping and howling in excitement instead of hearing somebody trying to form sentences and missing the whole damn bus with all that. <laughs> you see, I just got off the ship line with George Hot Flash. Lord, <laughs> you know it's hard enough to communicate with a hussy what's in her own time zone even when she's standing toe to toe with you. Well, try timing a phone call with someone who don't know her AM from her PM and who has a head in next Tuesday and her butt in last Thursday. <laughs> so, yeah, so now she's complaining about a sugar... Di- her benefactor. Uh, again. 
No, she got some fool cutting her a check just to bloviate on a satin footstool, and it's still not enough. <laughs> now she's crushing on that storm cloud again. <laughs> I done told her he's not available to you, hussy, or to anyone else with complicated life situations. <laughs> he's married to his art, or whatever he calls thumping on a box. And he's a full-time servant to my whims, you know. I tell her she's just attracted to the mystique of the whole bad boy Peter Pan knockoff. <laughs> Has she seen that cannabis processing unit in full daylight? <laughs> the edges are dry and wilted on that bloom, honey. <laughs> oh, and no, everyone... I cannot explain that fishnet leotard the hussy wears. I think it's the most dubious monstrosity to ever disgrace the human figure. <laughs> I used to go heavy with the fog machine so you couldn't see him. But then we all started getting electrocuted. <laughs> and speaking of good, clean fun, <laughs> I can tell I'm in the company of some freaky hussies tonight. <laughs> the scent of spandex and vegetable oil are redolent in the house. <laughs> now, I don't care what you hussies do in your private time. I mean, how could I? I've got an empire to run. <laughs> I don't have time to give red alerts to the police and the Center for Disease Control all day. <laughs> and besides, I know love comes in many forms. My first love involved vice grips, an unmarked van, and a $5,000 bond. <laughs> I hope yours is working out well for you, too. <laughs> but on with the show. Lord, I have to get psychically prepared for my first bit with that cat woman, Lord. I mean, no, we're all right. No, really, we are. It's just, it's just, you know, she was up in that whole Jean Genet avant-garde theater thing, and I'm a comic from the streets, and the modern-day queen of sweet funk. So, you know, we have different aesthetic preferences. But now we'd be okay. As long as she keeps her dirty claws out of my bean dip. <laughs> I don't need to be crunching on gourmet kitty litter. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> you run things with such an iron hand, Surrender. I've been pleasantly surprised by the freedom you allow me as a keyboard player. That's because I'm living in denial of the fact that you are my keyboard player. For those special times between friends, only a Hoy matey's coffee and tea assortment will do. Surrenda, I think you'd have to admit that being aboard the Club Dragon Sale advances you opportunities you wouldn't have had at your old squalid Hall of Torment. I think you're referring to the Hobnail Lounge. Oh, yes. Well, at the very least, it makes it trickier to burn the place down and collect the insurance. And we are regaling many disparate audiences on board and in port. <laughs> yeah. But it does limit us to continental coasts and islands. I mean, if I want to shoot up to the heart of Chicago, I'm just shit out of beans. Mahogany maple syrup latte, raspberry caramel insulin spike, and green tea acid reflux. So many choices with Ahoy Mateys tea and coffee assortment. How is Georgia doing now? Oh, she's depressed. <sighs> I don't know why. Maybe her butt pad slipped out while she was bending over in the parking lot to pick up a Twinkie and the whole thing got filmed by some TikTok teenager. Oh, Sabrina. I'm not being insensitive. I mean, I'm sure that sort of thing is an issue, too.
Clancy, hon, you on speakerphone. Hello, operator. Lord, I never thought I'd be saying this, but I'm actually trying to reach Georgia Hotland. You know, hair too high, voice like a gerbil huffing helium. She's lagging behind again. I gotta make sure she didn't fall into the public pool and get dragged down to the bottom by the weight of a butt pe- Oh, you think you got her? Well, make her accept the charge. I've accepted all I plan to accept for a while. Hello, love. It's Madame Malera. What? Georgia, what are you doing? I want- You what? want, I want. We want so many things, do we not? Well, right now I'm specifically wanting a check from some hussy sugar daddy to come through so we can buy some more light bulbs around here. I understand, and so we turn to the stars, to the cards. However, we need a guide, ne sais pas? We must be prepared for the fearful potencies. Okay, are you that Persian call girl Georgia's always complaining about hanging around the penthouse? So, to invoke... Unknown demons might result in immediate death via seizures, epiplexy, or strangulation. I have taken note. Okay, look, lady, I don't think we're- Madame Maleva knows what it is you seek. What? How? Are you a bankruptcy lawyer? You are an otherworldly chanteuse whose gift is so bountiful it weighs heavily on her crown. Go on. There is a French term for it. Oh, no, thank you. Now I get enough French from that hussy cat. Lady, whoever you are, just tell me in English about my superiority and what we plan to do about it. Oh, my dear, the time is not yet right for your ascendance. The pan is not yet coated with the glistening oil. The stewing juices have not yet yielded the popping bubbles. Are you trying to get dinner together? Oh, you must be that hussy housekeeper George is always harping about. The students must be worthy of the teacher, must they not? Yes, Lord, I know that's right. But if the students are unable to till the ground, perhaps it is up to you to show them how to turn a hole, no? Oh, no, I don't turn anything. I'm a respectable entertainer. Well, how long is my destiny going to take, Madame Malarkey or Madame Malarkey. Yeah, I mean, in theory, my skin could start to sag one day. Oh, well, if you are concerned about that, I and my associates can connect you to the solutions for various related issues, from healing ointments to rhinoplasty. Oh, no, I'm good. You can't fit a parakeet on this boat, let alone a rhino. (laughs) But now tell me how I'm supposed to get everybody to act right so I can save the world and make my fortune. You must be patient, my dear. No, how much time do I have to be patient? I need time, time, Lord! You could talk to our Madame Susie, who famously predicted the end of the world in 2029. I don't think she's going to be able to help. Do you want to know about finding love? Finding what? Do you want to know about finding love? Oh, hell no. Perhaps some questions concerning health and happiness. I've already planned to live forever, or until 2029. Perhaps we should discuss the money matters. Well, now do you know any sugar daddies who would be happy to put me on their Venmo account and just pine for me from afar? Oh my dear, I mean we need the processing number for your credit card. You and everybody else. It's all right, my dear. I already know it anyway. How lucky that you, as a first-time customer to Madame Maleva's psychic hotline, will be able to pay the modest price of $3.99 per minute. What? Oh, no, 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 no. How how, how does a hussy hang on to his phone? Oh, hey, it's a 
to have a bit of a disarray on the table. <laughs> well, I told everybody last time that I'd teach them all this stuff. I see a scattering of tarot cards, rune stones, and are those not stalks of yarrow? Yeah, that's for the I Ching. Do you know how one might use them to divine consultation? Uh... Henri... I think you would benefit greatly by choosing one means of divination and pursuing it intensively. Why not start with the tarot deck you designed? Okay. Oh, 
these gods are so charming, so minimal and art brute. <laughs> ah, allow me to draw your signifier. The fool? <laughs> yes, young neophyte. Shucks. <laughs> Special friends, I'm Henri, and welcome to the Isle of Woo. Last time, we talked about magic. This time, we're going to dig deep into the mysteries of the tarot. And don't worry about conjuring the devil. That fear is just a, a real... Uh, relic. A, a relic of a... An antiquated Abrahamic construct. Yeah. And we're not inviting any zombies to this party either. Well, today we have a special guest. One of Sorinda's friends is here, and I'm going to draw her tarot card. Please welcome Coco Peru. Hi, Coco. How are you, darling? Henri? I hope I'm saying that right. I'm from the Bronx. What do I know about names like Henri? Yeah, Henri. And for that matter, dog puppets. Although I do love puppets. And I love dogs. Anyway, I heard that Henri. Re? Henri? Henri. Is it Henri? I can't. Henri. Henri reads cards and would like to tell my fortune. What an honor. What an honor. So go ahead. Go ahead. Give me a fortune. Turn over that card, sweetheart. The devil? You turn over the devil, Henri? Uh... I'm not so sure I love puppets anymore. The devil. Actually, it's not so bad. It's a, a kind of a nice devil. Listen, I'm not worried. I'm not worried, all right? Because let me tell you something. The devil and I, we have an understanding. All right, you know, I, I understand fallen angels. And I said, darling, as long as you don't possess me or send any of those little, you know, other demons you got hanging around, you, you, we have a healthy respect. We keep a distance. Right? Like like this lockdown and the quarantining. We, we keep a nice distance. Oh, good. I'm not worried. I have the power as Coco Peru. All right, darling? Okay. Anyway. Henri, I appreciate your love and support, and I'm sending you a big, a big hug and tension tamer kisses. Mm. All right, bye now. Bye, Coco. Mercy, Buttercups. So, special friends, I hope you learn to not fear the devil. His grimy shackles. Grimy shackles are uh, loose enough to slip off, and then you can. Fly free. Ooh, Coco has conjured up a flock of tension tamer tea bags. Oh, the catnip is making me feel very sleepy. Good night, Bon Sour. Thank you. fun did we have tonight? Too damn much? I think you're right. <laughs> oh, so many luminescent talents to thank for being on our show. I see monkeys. Que yo soy yo. Pet and sheep. Mizero as Madame Maleva and Coco Peru. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Lord, I guess I better go make a call and make sure Georgia Hot Flash hasn't fallen into a carbohydrate coma. <laughs> so y'all go forth and live in life. Or, or suck it up, pussies. <laughs> Surrender's gowns courtesy of the Pinch My Penny Markdown Rack. Wardrobe consultation by Chi Chi's Productions. Personal assistant to Surrender, also that drag queen from Guatemala. Special promotional consideration by Georgia Hot Flash. Surrender's fragrance, Honeysuckle Passion. Now the only damn fragrance allowed on the shelves at the Pinch by Penny.
Oh.